Hi, I'm Rob Griffith, Manager of Technical Support here at Ion Audio. Today, I'll be taking you through getting the Discover Guitar USB set up with the included Guitar Rig LE software on Mac or PC. Insert the Discover Guitar USB installation disc into your Mac CD drive and double click the disc to begin. Find and double click Guitar Rig 4 Installer Mac. Click continue, continue again, one more time, agree. You'll be asked which hard drive, if you have multiple, to install the software on. Choose your Macintosh's main hard drive, then click continue. We recommend leaving all of these boxes checked. Click install. you'll be asked to enter your administrator password. This could take a few minutes. We've sped up the action on screen to keep the video short. After the installation is complete, click Close. The Guitar Rig software is installed into your Mac's Applications folder. You can access your Applications folder by using the Go menu at the top of your screen and choosing Applications. Look for the folder titled Native Instruments. Inside, you'll find a folder called Guitar Rig 4. Double-click Guitar Rig 4 to begin. Before you can begin using your Discover Guitar USB with the included software, you'll need to create an aggregate device in your Mac's audio system preferences. Go to the Go menu at the top of your screen and choose Utilities. In the window that opens, look for and double-click the item labeled Audio MIDI Setup. Click the plus icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. This will create a new item called Aggregate Device. This will allow us to use multiple sound devices together as one in many of Mac's applications. We'll check off Built-in Output and C-Media USB Audio Device. That's your Discover Guitar USB cable. By doing this, we'll be able to use our built-in speakers as an output and the Discover Guitar USB cable as an input in one application. Once you've done this, close the window. To launch Guitar Rig 4, go to the Go menu at the top of your screen and choose Applications. In the window that opens, look for the folder labeled Native Instruments. Inside, you'll find an item titled Guitar Rig 4. Double-click Guitar Rig 4 to begin. The first time you launch the software, it will ask you to set up your audio preferences. We just created a new device in our audio MIDI setup utility and this will be displayed here. Next to device, choose aggregate device. At the bottom of the window, set the latency setting to 256. What setting works best for you here will vary from system to system. However, the idea is to find a balance between low latency and good system performance. On most systems, 256 will work perfectly. Guitar Rig 4 requires online authorization. You will need an internet connection to proceed. Click the Activate button to launch the Native Instruments Service Center. You'll be asked to enter your administrator password before you can continue. The Native Instruments Service Center will launch. This application provides authorization for all of Native Instruments software products. If you use other Native Instruments software on your computer, you may already have a Native Instruments login. If you don't, click Create New User Account. We've sped up the action on screen to keep the video short. Once you've completed the required fields, click Next. Verify your information is correct, then click OK to proceed. You should receive a message indicating that a password has been sent to your email address. Once you've checked your email and have gotten your password, type it in here and click Log In. Once you log in, enter the Guitar Rig 4 authorization code that was included on the back of the CD sleeve here. Once you've entered it correctly, the Activate button will illuminate in the lower right of the screen. Click this to continue. Once your software has been activated, you'll see that reflected here. 
Next, the Service Center will check to see if there's any available updates for your software. We recommend installing any available updates. Click Download to begin. When the download is finished, you'll see this window. Click Yes. Double click the update or installer to begin. This process will be exactly like the previous installation you just performed. Click continue, continue again, agree. It will then ask you where you want to install the update. Choose your main hard drive. Leave everything checked. Click install. Enter your administrator password. Click OK, and then choose Continue Installation. When it's finished, you'll need to restart your computer. Once your computer is restarted, relaunch Guitar Rig. Go to the Go menu at the top of your screen, choose Applications, find the folder called Native Instruments, Guitar Rig 4, and then double click. You can also add it to your dock for easy access in the future. If you're running a Mac operating system older than version 10.6 Snow Leopard, creating an aggregate device is a little bit different. You still do so using the Audio MIDI Setup Utility. Go to the Go menu at the top of your screen and choose Utilities. Find and double-click Audio MIDI Setup. This utility in older operating systems looks a little bit different. Go to the Audio menu at the top of your screen and choose Open Aggregate Device Editor. In the window that opens, click plus to add a new one. Any available audio inputs or outputs will be displayed here. We'll want to check built-in output and C-Media USB audio device. This represents the Discover Guitar USB cable. Click done and then close the audio MIDI setup utility. Now we're ready to begin using Guitar Rig. <laughs> For more information or for further product support, visit www.ionaudio.com. <laughs>